Hey folks, welcome to Building a Better Apocalypse. My name is Quill, and today we're building an outhouse. Obviously, it's not going to be a functional one. The policy of everybody poops isn't one that Seven Days adheres to, and honestly, I'm quite alright with that. But if it's not functional, then why the heck would we build it? While the outhouse is the focus of today's build, the outhouse itself isn't as important as what it's covering. On the surface, we've got a shitty looking shitter. But follow the poop shoot, and maybe you'll find a surprise. Maybe there's a mine down there. Or perhaps even a secret bunker. The point is that the outhouse is simply an alternative way to hide an entrance to the underground. It uses the same concept as a ladder and hatch, but only requires a few extra blocks on the top. Let's get started. We'll begin with the digging portion. Pick a spot for the shaft and dig one block down. That will conclude today's digging portion. The video is on how to build the outhouse, not the underground part. All it's supposed to do is replace the top of your ladder and hatch system, so what it connects to underground, that's up to you. Face the hole, pick a side to call the front, and build a ladder, leaving one single block's worth exposed on the top. Afterwards, take two cube halves, rotate, and place them on opposite sides of the hole like shown. Swap the shape to cube 0.25 meter and place it on the back side opposite of the ladder. As for the front of the hole, we can close it in and make a footrest look at thing by using plate corner half wall. Using plate corner half wall offset, we'll add two block tall walls on top of the cube halves from earlier. With the same blocks, we can place a three block wall on both sides of the footrest. This should close up the sides of the build and leave openings on the front, back, and roof. Swapping over to plates, we'll want to close in the back wall and place a single block above the doorway on the front. As for the roof, we'll use plate wedge 60 tip pillar 0.025 meter on the edges and gable plates in the middle. To complete the building portion, we'll use plate gable inclines and plate wedge 60 left slash right tips to create a simple lip on the front and back. The gapping with the roof is a bit unorthodox, but I also figure it's more realistic than not. I mean for real, if I was stuck in a wooden outhouse dropping bombs on the poor insects below, left to battle the vapors of my own creation, I'd kind of hope there was some form of ventilation in place. Anyway, enough poop talk. Let's paint. On the outside of the build, I went with a mixture of burnt wood paneling, wood black, and wood painted three textures for the walls. These three blend well enough together and can help break up the monotony that using only one texture would cause. As for the roof, it's super simple with a blue metal roof being used for the lion's share, metal corrugated for the lip, and beer cooler side for the small poles. For the interior, much like the outside, I used a mixture of several textures. While I wanted it to look run down, I also wanted it to be lighter on the inside, so I used plywood, rough cut wood, and wood barricade to achieve the look shown. With building and painting addressed, we can move on to the final step, decorating. We'll want some privacy when dropping the kids off at the pool, so a nice wood door on the front is a given. As for the toilet slash secret tunnel, I use the basic wood hatch to cover it, mostly because it'll fold up and down like a real toilet seat. If you'd rather not look at a wood hatch, try swapping it out with wood shutters. They look pretty good and open with two panels instead of one. Outside the toilet, to make it look more like a POI, I place some piles of junk around. There's a stack of wood, some pipes, a mattress, and bricks, but nothing too crazy. I also sprinkled some plants around in the form of scraggly bushes and small trees. The front looked a bit bland, so I added two more blocks to make pavers. 
This can be done using a pillar 1 meter plate and plate sidewalk broken 4. And finally, to let the folks know it's a bathroom and definitely not the secret entrance to an underground lair, we'll want to place some bathroom signs. And that's it! The build is complete and ready to use. Eh, somewhat. This was much shorter than my typical videos, but it was also a much simpler build. I hope you enjoyed it, and if this is the kind of stuff that piques your interest, consider leaving a like or subscribing. It helps to grow the channel and lets me know I'm doing something right. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and as always, y'all have a good one.